while the breasts of the internet was busy lubing themselves up with the antibacterial hand sanitizer like a greasy, good Krispy Kreme donut to prevent from disease and infection. We were busy finding new easter eggs in the latest and greatest Call of Duty game. Bonjour du thé, le Call of Duty, ma black up the tour. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the craziest easter egg you guys have ever seen. Oh, what? Oh, oh. We're going to drop today's easter egg into some deliciousness and serve it up like a pizza style slicing up many little pieces for you if you enjoy the paranormal if you enjoyed aliens if you like the x-files then today's episode is gonna be dedicated to you the viewer but before we get tonight's proceedings underway we're gonna need to hit that like goal you know what it is a thousand likes Hector needs it to come back inside! But if we don't get it, uh, I'm gonna have to kick Hector out. And you know how hard that is on my heart. I'm not, I don't do I cannot do it! So I need you guys to hit that like button a thousand times for Hector's sake! Because we need to have that as a light goal, okay? The next step for the Easter egg is to have Black Ops on Xbox One. The second one, not the first, no, I mean the game. And you're going to need to have it to be backwards compatible, so have Xbox Live available to you. And you're going to want to go to the zombies menu. And once you're in the zombies menu, you want to select from it one of the maps. SPOILER ALERT! IT'S TRANSIT! Which is the first one. So, it shift with the game. If you don't want to buy DLC for this, you do not have to. Although the DLC is pretty amazing. Except I rise, YOU CAN FUCK YOURSELF! With transit loaded, what you need to do is simply make your way around the map as follows. And what we're gonna do is take heed of the points we're going to actually accrue in the bus depot. We have to do this very fast, but we have to leave some zombies behind. We don't want to kill all the zombies to maximize our points. We have to basically get to the diner almost on round one-ish, uh, very close to round two. Um, that's going to be our basic journey for step one. So what you want to do is make your way around the bus depot collecting the parts very quickly. Be sure not to down yourself. This is very easy to get down in this game. It's only two hits, as I said before. Once you have collected the pieces, make yourself the Hello Roto Blade body kit and put that by the door. Now you'll be able to collect the next piece. Hopefully, it's the rooftop hatchable. If it's not, then we're all fucked. Because, see, there are three pieces, but only two can spawn in the game. So, if you didn't get this one, then that means you might have got the grate for the bus, which is not good. Or if you get the ladder, then that's also for the back of the bus, and it's also not good. So, those two can also spawn. Those are the RNG we're, we're playing with, the elements, the random. So if you do not get the fucking bus cover in this, hopefully it's in the next place, which will be the final place to look. Continue on to the bus! And what you want to do is assault the bus driver, Ted, in his little skull face. Ooh! You don't frighten me, Ted. It's not Halloween. It's actually Easter. So Ted will fuck off, and his eyes will turn from blue to red. That means you're doing this correctly. Now all you need to do is make your way into the diner, and uh, if you did not collect the hatch part, it will be in this wooden shed. If it's not in the wooden shed, then it did not spawn in this game, and you'll have to kill yourself and restart. Or, uh, well, you can end the game. 
that also works. Anyway, at the diner, you want to get off your bus, and all you have to do is survive here for six rounds. Now, this can be easy or hard depending on if the box spawns here. Usually it always does. Uh, hopefully you get a good gun. Any gun will work out of this. And what you have to do before even starting the real six rounds of survival, you want to look to the sign and you'll notice that some letters are highlighted with the various nitrous oxide that makes neon signs. And what you want to do is shoot the letters I shoot in this video. So you have to actually hit the neon part. What you want to do is hit the word D-I-E and that'll spell the word Die. And then, once this is done, simply survive in the diner area for six rounds. Now, what I encourage you to do, hater, is to take that rooftop armament and instead of putting it on the bus because we're never going to use it again, you put it in the diner roof. You know what I'm saying? And that way you can get to the rooftop. And once you have the points of crude Galvin Knuckles, which means even if your fucking gun becomes uh, useless after round three, <laughs> like your deadbeat uncle, you can fucking use the Galvin Knuckle to do your damage for you. And then you finish the game! Very easy! 6,000 points it costs. <laughs> That's more than my car! I didn't even know they had things that cost that much in the game! But they do. And it's here. On this roof. You should have fucking put it on the bus! Oh! Anyway. I'm gonna take a little time out to remind you guys of the like goal we set up at a thousand likes. Please. For Hector's sake. Can we get that? Thank you very much. Yeah. Surviving here for six rounds, not too difficult uh, if you know your training routes. Just don't go too far outside the map because the denizens will latch onto your face like the alien from Alien and then proceed to impregnate you with the alien spawn, creating a chest burster inside of you, which will rip out both your lungs and part of your heart. The lower ventricles will come outside of you as it pierces through your rib cage, clearly stronger than adamantium. The thing is made of metal and flesh, ripping right through you you, impaling you by yourself. Hopefully you get close to someone and give them a hug so when it goes through you, it goes through them as well. That's thinking. That's how you get rid of bad guys in your movie. Alien Covenant spoilers. I seen it. Okay, they gave us a review copy to look at. I can't help it. I pretend sometimes I do movie reviews on a second channel you guys don't know about and it also has 700,000 subs. I shouldn't even be talking about this, it's a secret. Now you guys are in on it. But those people there won't even know who is behind which channel anymore. Oh my god, the conspiracy grows! So they gave us a review copy to watch. Not gave us a review copy. I mean, they flew us out and let us see the screening early. This never even fucking happened, by the way. It's just... Imagine if it did, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see the movie! But I do want to see that movie. I'm probably going to see it soon. I can't wait. It's going to be sick. And I hope you guys are fans of Alien. Or you don't have to be. Whatever. It's cool. You can be fans of whatever you want. Anyway! Proceed through the diner. Continuing on. Do not leave the diner area, and on the 6th and or 7th round, what you should notice if done correctly. Now, I can't stress this enough, this easter egg is highly fallible, you, you might even go down on it, don't build the zombie shield, please, if you get into trouble, just leave the roto helicopter thing down and that'll attract zombies away, sort of like a monkey bomb. It doesn't work for a good radius, so the further the zombies are out, they will try to go for you. But if you get in a trouble, you put that down and run the fuck away. Anyway, you gotta go through the rounds like I said you did. And don't touch the lava because it's everywhere. Once this has been completed, you want to make your way before the next round starts onto the roof of the diner. 
The Galva Knuckles, if you have them, will be more than sufficient at taking out zombies at this juncture. And what you should see in the skies above! Oh my god, it's a UFO! Oh, take me away to the home planet of Cramder, where it's over in the Drax system. I can't wait to go on a one-way trip. Please don't. Please don't. No! Anyway, this has been the UFO Black Ops 2 Easter Egg. I hope you found this enjoyable and informative. This is a Section 3 Easter Egg classified Part A, Temporal Anomaly. We're not even supposed to be discussing this on a non-secure line, and the line isn't private anyway. If you found this enjoyable, be sure to leave a like and share this on your social media. I want to see this on Twitter. I want to see this on Facebook. People have to know the truth is out there on the internet and in real life, people. This is a real thing, homie, and you have to share it. Also, if you're new here to this channel, I want you to subscribe. I want you to subscribe. Take the commitment. Take the challenge. Take the 30-day challenge. I want you to subscribe to my channel for 30 days. If you didn't enjoy yourself, well, then watch more of my videos. But if you're subscribing and you're new, hit the bell icon and then select OK. You want your push notification? You just join the notification squad. That way you get all my craziest videos anytime you want on demand sent directly to you through the power of the internet. That's a miraculous thing, folks. Not everyone has the access to that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video where we find another Easter egg in Black Ops Part 2.